Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess A. Chelsea, and welcome back to Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. When I last left off, we managed to finally escape from Missile's apartment with the help of our rather grouchy and questionable neighbor, who is having some marital issues, but I guess we'll be dealing with that some down the line. For now, we're back at the junkyard. We were examining Sizzle's body, getting introduced to Inspector Cavanella, and apparently something happened while Lynn, our friend who may or may not know us, got into custody. So I guess we're gonna figure out what happened this time. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, uh -huh. especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much unexpected. All oh, except for one thing. Oh, 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 she's dead again, isn't she? God damn it, Lynn! No, Lynn! Hang on there, baby! Yeah, shaking her is definitely gonna save her from death. Just saying. You know, CPR and surgery. Pfft, that's not gonna do anything. A good old shaking. That's what brings people back from the dead. Oh, it's that dude with the uh, pigeon on his head that scared her earlier. It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, Pigeon Man. It's because he's a bird brain, isn't it? Get it? Because he got a bird on his brain. Never mind. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? Oi. Yeah, you got a point there. Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. I'm just gonna clean out the bird poop out of my head. All right, new info. That was quick. I like how the bird nods his head as he's walking, like the bird's actually walking along with him. That's kind of funny. Although, that's a little disturbing. Yeah, they, didn't that just come from the bird's mouth, or... No, okay. I don't know. He kind of looks like Dr. Insano, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, the, the blue-skinned doctor. I forgot about him. I like how he uses his stethoscope while he's walking. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Oh, you shout at me. Now, let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you, she's dead. A second death of the night, actually. Trick time. Alright. Oh. No, no, I don't want to leave yet. Let's just ghost it for now. Alright, can I just, uh, trick this and switch it around? There we go. Perfect. Hoop, hoop, and a hoop. I just, nope, it's a little too far. There we go. Unconscious of some as well, eh? Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me, are you ignoring me? Oh, well, sorry. I'm still not used to talking about dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm, try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Only a lot prettier and less Elvis-like. Uh -huh. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that helps. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, it's that kind of detective. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Oh, God, why? Yeah, I certainly won't argue with a really unusual plot. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one, not the weird 
guy. All oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I look like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. That's better. There, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could have anything to do with my death, I wonder. Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Grr, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. I don't know what's going on any more than you do. But I've got some things to ask you about. Uh, let's ask about your death, I guess, because I don't think you can do anything about me. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Look at the shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight about ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. Is four minutes. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess the developers need a little time limit on something. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right, you don't remember? Probably not. She was dead at the time. You know, in case you need a reminder of what happened. Hmm, yes, I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. Yeah, the blue man group has it out for her for some reason. Oh, uh, I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. It's like, I remember being dead. So I died twice already tonight. Yeah, you're... You're doing great. If it wasn't for me, you'd probably be dead permanently, so be grateful for that. I don't know what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Uh huh. <sighs> hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. Alright, well, I guess I'm asking about me then. I'm looking for answers to the question who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. Aww. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Huh. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I still don't know why I died with my butt up in the air. But I guess it works if I voided my bowels. I remember now. I knew it! I knew you were the lead I needed! But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Well, why not? Because I don't know you. Well, what do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me! No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. No way! Okay, well, apparently we are two strangers in a weird crossroads of some sort. So, you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. So, do you suppose we're just two strangers who happen to meet tonight? No way, I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out in the middle of uh, nowhere for no reason? Probably, I bet you she was investigating a case of some kind. I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. You mean... Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why didn't you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You're gonna be kidding me. Goes without saying that I don't remember. Grr, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hmm. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? Hmm. I'm really sorry. 
but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. Aww. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. Uh, I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I can't uh, just die. Not yet. Not like this. Not like this! I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Uh, didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What do you, uh, what to, what you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you're ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot. Rewind time. That is still a cool thing to see. I, I swear I've seen it before in other th something else. One second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Based on those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Alright, here we go. 8.18 p.m. I wonder if she was ordering pizza. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so she probably wasn't ordering pizza. Maybe tacos. Yes, sir. Oop. Great hiding job, Lynn. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken alright? Depends on the chicken. One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. Well, you just ordered something. Tough luck. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here in a minute. Oh, okay. There he is! Whoosh! Yeah! Evening, Patrolman! Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir! Uh, I'm just gonna go wet my pants as I go by. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigation Unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. Oh, what does that matter at a time like this when my limbs in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspect of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm, never, baby. Oh? Well, uh, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases our station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. What? Yeah, oh, no, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Unless it's my heart, ka -chow. You know he's got a crush on her, you can just tell. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? Seriously, are you two, like, dating or something? 
Hello, if anything ever happened to you? Oh, I'd never be able to look him in the eye again! Inspector Carbonella, I'm going to ask you a question. Ah, uh, what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby! Get down! And that was the second time I died. That seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. I inspect a cabinella? No, he's not like that. I don't know, he kind of comes off as a bit of a womanizer. Just for a round, don't just shoot me. Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like that man fired from outside. We ought to prevent the bullets from coming in, though. In any case, let's give it a try, your four-minute game. I'm gonna have to make an assumption that I'm gonna have to check something. Alright, so I'm over here. Let me just ghost over here. That, there we go. Alright, this should, I should be able to move this, right? I didn't mean to move it over here, but I could check it anyway. What's this? These pictures were old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, I would have lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay, I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch, the lady's tone can be sharp. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I uh, know. Good one. Oh, just whatever. Alright, so that didn't do me any good. I'm gonna switch back over this way. Hmm. What does this do? The motor. Oh! What's down here? I can't do anything down here. Unfortunately, I can't reach anywhere. Maybe I can ghost trick this baby. Nope, okay. Can't do anything with that. Just sir. Okay, so... Ah! I bet I gotta use that folder. Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. I me guess. Aha! I gotta check the phone. Okay, you gotta pee. You gotta roll for a nose. That's kind of funny. Hello, the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Well, I think I'm gonna stay here for now, because I don't think there's a point for me to go to the chicken place. Hey, at least I got a trace out of that. That's something. Yay, I can go get chicken, even though I don't think I can eat chicken, because I'm dead. Alright, let's see what you gotta say. No sense I'm going out to the restaurants now. Right, can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was talking about. The place we need to be now is outside the junkyard where that hitman works. The only way to get there is through the telephone lines. So. In other words. No. That's funny. What's the matter? The telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line goes red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal. Hmm. Alright. What are you thinking? You heard me here to stand guard over this rookie Detective Lynn. Now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. I told me to call a detective outside if she did anything suspicious. So here I stand. Hey, you may need to call a detective outside after all. She's so beautiful, it's criminal. Ah, I see here. I gotta get something suspicious coming out of here. Hmm, can I reach that? Nope. But... Ooh, what that? Maybe I can move this. What's up with the bl blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? Hee <laughs> hee. Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? 
Who are you calling, anyway? It was personal business. Okay, so no, not that. So. Let me do this. Hey, I tricked this. Look at this bee, it looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? <sighs> Why did you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? Huh? It's one of those science-y things that scientists use. Microscope? Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is, but it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. Okay, so no. No, okay, that's not helping me. Hey, did you hear what the officer just said? Yeah, starting to taste that fellow has. His taste is perfectly normal. Humph. But anyway, not that part. The part about the order he got. The order to telephone outside if I did anything suspicious. Telephone, huh? He was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but he didn't call. He should have been more observant. So if the police officer sees anything suspicious, the state of ours might change. So in other words, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. And try something a little different. Okay, I still can't reach it from here, so I have to wait for this to happen, right? You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Yep. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it lands here, more fun to stop the bad guy who's shooting the bullets. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I got you, girlfriend. I know, you don't want to get shot. Okay. You're good. Stop complaining. I'm gonna help you. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, sir. No, no, no. Do you not give me the, uh, the option to... Am I just not allowed to do anything there? Oh, whoops, no, 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 no. Hey, don't scare me like that. You could shorten my life, poor little me. Um, my life is already over, actually. You don't have to rub it in. Oh, okay. This is, this isn't working. I gotta figure this out. Aha, figured it out. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Aha! So that's what I had to do. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. Whenever I can make the call without her noticing. Aha! There we go! Trick time! Now I can use the phone! What's up? What's like, up? I'm watching Lynn like just like you told me to. I know it's sort of suspicious. Yo, kid, so Inspector Cabanello was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner. In a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Kind of thing it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let John you notice anything. Alright, so now I can go back. Hey, look at that, the phone line is glowing red. Perfect. I bet it would work if we tried it now. Uh, but alright, the detective is talking to us outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Perfect, let's go there. Let's do this. I've been waiting for you. Eek! But what are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? We we'll just have to get the grandpa on there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. But we you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Pretty much. Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. <gasps> I heard it was way up on the upper level. A scan a few minutes from now. 
How do you know so much? That man's probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Sure you are, sweetie. You're very special. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Crumbles! Fate changed. To an extent. Alright. Time to ghost it. Hup, hup, hup. Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Okay. What now? Horrible Hitman, that's after he's upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. No runs. We can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. Alright, so I'm assuming I gotta go up this way again. Fair enough. Trick. Good thing nobody notices any of this stuff. Okay, there's nothing in there, but... Okay. I guess I have to do the same thing I did last time. Alright, that should be enough, right? Here we go! Alright, so where do I end up now? Oop. Well, I made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. I must be running out somewhere. I'm preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm gonna make good and sure he understands what happens to people who point guns at others. There's a gleam in our eye that's absolutely blinding. Hmm. Yeah, I can't move anywhere, so I'm assuming I got a trick then. Ah, crap. I should have. I should have jumped on him. Okay, hang on. Let me just reverse that a little bit after the fate change. Let's try that again. I bet you I have to take a ride on him. Aha! There we go! Getting a ride! Woohoo! Alright. So, let's see where this guy is. Up oh, there's our friend with the shotgun well rifle. I see my target. Time to go to work. All the way out of the Hitman Division by next month now for sure. There he is, the horrible hitman! I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. Alright, new info has been added. What do I gotta do for you? Ah, God, I can't reach you. There we go. Hmm. I still got this thing up here. Okay, not you. You then. No. Do I just shine a light on you then? Aha! Found you! Well, uh, I put a stop to that shot at least. We did it! I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't have that completely. We're not done yet. That man is a professional and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really going to stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's look at something else before he gets a shot in. Fate changed. Cool. That means at least, at least another spot I can save in. Alright, so let's see. Nope, I can't do anything with the bicycle. Nope. All right, let me head back down to see if there's anything I can do down there. Uh, 
I jump onto you then. Aha! There we go! I gotta use you to get over there. If you want, if I want that position, I'll be careful of even the slowest bit of light. Division head is more mission. Ambition for the year. Next year, my model will be. If I want to be director, I'll have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like I want shopping spots where the light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. Rumors? That you mean rumors? Whatever. Okay, well, there's a light up here. Peekaboo! Oh, that light went off. Oh, look at that. One of the lights went out. Well, uh, three lights here are all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them all at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day. I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the lead lamp. Our sad town deal. Sounds like the of things way too far. Alright, let's see here. What's this button do? Huh, nothing happens. That's funny. Those levels were swinging the cranium around. I'd like to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, it's crying. Well, that's some other way we can use it. Alright. Can I do anything with this? Oh, I can. Aha! Hey, did you turn that flashlight on? Wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Let's make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting a squeeze on us lately about using too much power on sites. They don't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We gotta be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Alright, so I guess I use you. Where is this guy, anyway? Let's see here. Okay, no. There's nothing over that way. Interesting. Also, I think I may have just screwed myself over. That's a problem. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, where'd you end up this time, buddy? All the way over there. Okay, I screwed up on that one. Dang it. Okay, gotta try that again. <laughs> Dang. Almost. You need like a shot that only buys a little more time. Doesn't look like we're gonna discourage him from shooting completely. Only deal with evil is to crush it completely. So your detective is just a little excessive. I better rewind again. Well, at least it's pretty lenient about that. That's what happens if you screw up. Fair enough. Ah, so that actually helped out on that one. He scared him off too. Cool. Alright, so... Now that he's moved off to that side... Alright, I'll turn this off. That way he'll be over here on this side, I think. Alright, so where are you going now? Because I think the light over here is still off, right? Yeah, that's, that light's still on. That one's light still on. So now he's over on that side. Perfect. Alright, so now he should be over on that side. Correct? Yeah, okay, it changed now, so now he's over here now. Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under a spotlight after all. You now my shot like this is not for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, sister, get him! Oh, oh, what did I become her assistant? Alright, so...
Oh, crud. Aha! Can't go anywhere over there, buddy. Alright, so now I think I have an idea of what to do here. Alright, get you guys over here again. Get back on to you. So now the light is off. And... Such. Come on. Keep walking, because he should be over here now, since there's no more lights. Yep, okay. Keep talking about how special you are, buddy, Mr. Division Head. Criminal dude. So. Walk around the other way, dude. Come on. You're killing me here. Come on. That's it. Almost there. There you go. Perfect. Alright, so now... Alright, trick up here. And let her go. Perfect. Don't know why that took me so long to figure out, but I got him. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. Well, found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased again. Yeah, fate averted. It took me a little longer than I expected, but I got it. Why not, I wonder? Oh, why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said too. Well, I'm just jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers are dead. Why have they chosen me? We'll find the answer to that question tonight. Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. Uh, I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. Don't, that, I was kidding, thank you. Well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Agreed. Time warp, go. Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of water yet. I'd better go see how she's doing. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going back the way I came. Including with that stupid umbrella trick again. No, alright. Oh good, it's red, so I can actually just jump right back. Well, looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further and solving my own mystery though. That woman holds the key, don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue a case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Alright. Well, I guess it's... Let's see, where is it? Uh, not the trouble man's office. Super's office. There we go. Alright. Let's see what happens next. I decided to go back to the office while Lynn was being detained. When the cha fate changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Oh, oh. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Would that case be connected to me in any way? Oh, oh. Well, I don't know. But I guess we're gonna find out in the next episode because it took me way longer than I expected to actually beat this one. This was definitely a tricky one for some reason. I don't know why I, my brain was just not putting pieces together but I figured out in the end. That's another hitman down. Another member of the blue man group dead apparently. I just keep squishing people. It's crazy. Oh well. Hopefully Lynn is okay after all that and hopefully we can get a little bit closer to figuring out what the mystery is of this game. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.